Hello you guys and good morning. I don't know why I'm like acting happy because it has been a whirlwind of a past 48 hours, actually like 24 hours to be honest. So I was actually meant to be vlogging like a what I ate in a day today and I'm still gonna be doing that for you guys. But woo, some stuff has been going down. My brows are looking a little bit hectic because I got them done this morning. They actually look very intense right now, but they obviously calmed down. I get the henna, I don't know, some form of henna brow situation done so obviously they're like really dark but then they fade and then I get a sugar scrub because when I get my eyebrows done if I get like threading or anything like that done I get like these really little pimples like all around the top of my eyebrows and it's really gross but it does make sense because I feel like when they thread your eyebrows it like opens up your pores and then when they're using like the brush and stuff um, if they're not like clean or anything like that and I feel like they use that on like so many people when they brush away the hairs afterwards that would just be like so oily and gross and it would just get into your pores and make it all really feral so I feel like that's why I break out obviously um so I got that done this morning went to PLC and then I actually just got back from dropping Milo off at the vet he's getting an x-ray done because I was giving him mangoes like the past few weeks whenever I'd have one I'd be sat there eating it with him um and he was like fine he absolutely loved it I googled it and Google said it was fine for them to have it and usually Google's like no to everything so when it said it was fine I was like oh it must be fine but because he's He's been having so many lately he finally figured out how to like really crack through um, to the seed really really quickly so uh, I was literally not watching him for like a split second the other day and he was like chewing up the seed and he literally had it for like 30 seconds I swear um, and I walked outside and yeah he chewed up the seed not like the whole thing it's hard to explain um, but the bits of the seed that he chewed weren't on the ground Meaning he must have swallowed it um, and yeah, we just like kept an eye on him the past few days But he's been like he hasn't been like vomiting, but he's been like making like a vomiting sound um, Every night for the past like three nights like we've been asleep and he's had dinner and everything But it's been like 2 a.m. And yeah, he's been like kind of throwing up but like not really and then he threw up last night So I was like that's it. I'm taking him to the vet this morning just to be safe rather than sorry um, But yeah, they're gonna do an x-ray on him and then um Hopefully that like potentially shows us if that's what it is and then if it's not that he'll have to get like blood tests done and See how that all goes in case it's something major like his pancreas or something like that Honestly, I'm hoping it's like the mango seed like obviously I'm hoping it's nothing but if anything hopefully it's just that. Milo was such a little trooper. He's so fucking cute. He was absolutely terrified. He was like shaking. Um, but oh my god, he's so cute. He'll be fine though. And that's gonna set me back like a grand. So that's great. But yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Then, oh my god, I don't know if I should like film this in like an actual sit-down video because or if it would be like way too boring because it's not like that major I'm just like so pissed off about it but basically like three weeks ago there was like a few packages stolen from my house and I can't explain too much without giving it away too much but anyway turns out it was like a girl that literally like lives down the road from me came over to my house because she saw that I was at the Gold Coast with Jake and stole the packages and was like fully wearing them and everything like that and Jake and I went over to her house yesterday to like literally let loose at them because I was so angry like my blood was literally boiling I was so mad like who thinks that they have the right to go into someone's property and take their stuff it's actually like a federal offense as well so she's lucky I'm not pressing charges yet and she still hasn't given it all back but yeah she ended up messaging being like I'm so sorry blah 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 um like all this bullshit but she's actually so lucky that I'm a nice person and just want to like let it be and hopefully she learns her lesson and learns from her mistakes but yeah who does that like what kind of human does that i'm so angry about it still as you guys can probably tell um but yeah jake was like so pissed off he was like ready to go honestly lucky they weren't home when we went over there kidding we're not like abusive people but um like at all but i was like just so angry like i just wanted her to know that that's like so not okay um and all my friends were like i hope you say something to her blah 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 like we ended up being like kind of nice about it but still want her to know that that's like not okay but we'll probably still to like tell the cops and um like file a report against her but yeah if you guys ever think of doing that 
what goes around always comes back around karma can be a bitch and you want to just be like a good person so do right by other people be a good person because otherwise like how embarrassing like that we found out that it was her and she literally had to drop all of the stuff back off like that's so embarrassing and what does she even get out of that like literally does not make any sense and half of the stuff wasn't even in there so now she has to pay me money to cover the stuff like the stuff was stuff that i'd bought so really annoyed about that yeah i was literally like rattled i didn't know where these packages were for weeks but yeah if you guys want like a little bit more of an in-depth video as to the tea on that let me know but i'm gonna go inside now and uh, make breakfast finally it's actually pretty much midday i've been running around like a headless chicken today but yeah, i'm gonna quickly have a smoothie and then i'm gonna have like lunch not much longer after jake has just been packing orders from our black friday sale for sweats so sweats are having 40 percent off site wide so if you guys want to get your hands on like the crew neck or anything um for winter next year or any of the t-shirts um We've actually sold out of all of the mesh shorts. I'm pretty sure, definitely in all sizes in the gray, there may be a couple left in the smaller sizes in the black and the white, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, 40% off site wide, which is absolutely huge. Um, the purpose of today's video as well, actually you guys, is um, to let you know that I'm having 50% off all of my guides on my Fit Body Co um, website. So yeah, if you guys do wanna save 50% off or you've been wanting to try any of my guides um, including like the wholesome food guide everything like that It will be 50% off on Friday um, all day and it's just for the 24 hours as well I'm not doing a huge sale for Fit Body Co over a few days um, Just the Black Friday date Also I wanted to mention as well that the meals I'm cooking today are going to be from the guide So you guys can like suss them out a little bit as well But I'm going to stop rambling right now and go in and have some breakfast because I am starving While I was out I quickly um, bought a new gorilla pot as well my other one i had for like the past two years but like the little end things were like really slippery like they wouldn't hold up so yeah this is like the little tripod that i use for my camera in case anyone ever wanted to know seriously so yummy you don't have to add the honey if you don't want to either or the peanut butter you can just have like a um, banana and honey one if you want but I love the peanut butter and it's so good and fresh and very filling as well um, but I'm just sat outside at the moment in my new little setup outdoors I'm actually just getting some work done I have been working on something for the past over a year now um, it's definitely like the most exciting thing I've ever done in my whole entire life it's something that I've always wanted to do yeah always been like a huge passion of mine and yeah I'm really excited that it's actually finally about to come to life really soon I'm hoping and praying before Christmas but we'll see how we go but yeah it's gonna be absolutely huge you guys aren't even ready for it but yeah if you guys can guess what it is comment below i'm not sure if any of you guys will guess it except for like the people that are like super close to me because obviously like all my friends my family and stuff know that i've been working on this for ages and yeah i'm really excited to launch it to you guys um but yeah i'm just kind of finalizing a lot of the finer details over the next few weeks leading up to the launch and stuff so it's going to be a very jam-packed um, few weeks so if I'm MIA on Instagram and um, YouTube and stuff that's why I've already been like a little bit like absent because I've been trying to get all of this stuff done around other things um, but yeah I'm really excited to tell you guys and yeah just finally 
to let you all know. I'm really, really keen. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to quickly um, finish this off, get some work done. And then I actually have a hair appointment that I really need to quickly um, dash off to. I'm just getting a wash, a blow dry, and some curls done. So that'll be nice. Just somewhere close to home. So I'll let you guys know if it's good. Angel is amazing. She's who does my hair. Um, but she is on the Gold Coast, which is like an hour and a bit away from me. So yeah, it's a bit of a mission. When I'm down there, I definitely go to her. But I'm going to see how this place goes with the curls. <laughs> is all done it'll obviously drop um by tomorrow but yeah she's nice and curly i am just at the veterinary clinic Milo um actually got his x-rays back and um they were kind of like inconclusive so jake had to go pick him up um and then drop him off at a different clinic which is the one i'm at at the moment because he had to get an ultrasound so it should be done in like half an hour or so so i'm just gonna chill here until he is done um the poor little freaking baby i hope nothing's wrong but i also feel like terrible if like nothing was wrong and he has to like go through all of this and nothing be wrong the poor little soul so he's such a cutie because like all of the vet nurses and stuff were just like giving him the biggest cuff like cuddles but he was so out of it so i'm so sad for him um my eyebrows look so bizarre with my hair like this but once I have like makeup and stuff on, it'll be fine. But the girl that did my hair was such a sweetheart. So shout out to her if she actually watches this um, at all. But yeah, I just went to Rapunzel um, in North Lakes. And yeah, they were really good. Ash is the owner. And she actually used to do my hair like way back in the day. And yeah, she's amazing. So like just from her house and the salon is so pretty. So yeah, definitely go check them out if you um, live in the area. She's so drowsy. Oh update on little mr milo we need to take him to the other vet again take him back and then we need to try and get him to throw up um whatever's in there because there's something little stuck in his stuck in his tummy the vet nurses were so lovely they're like we want to keep him they were so cute and they said they're obsessed but how could you not be this little man we picked up daddy so he can come with us <laughs> to the vet he's very sleepy mm. oh little bum boy he looks so dark on the camera no. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. He got shaved as well. A little pumpkin. Round two, we'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> Don't even eat it. Oh, this is in his tummy, the poor little boy. At least you know what it was, though. Imagine that in his tummy, though. So, guys, don't feed your dogs mangoes without supervision or at all. Look at him, he's so like. <laughs> he's so... Oh my god, <laughs> he is so cute. Look at his shaved belly. Oh, my god. Oh, his belly's so empty. Yeah. So, they um, basically. <laughs> Oh my god, look at his eyes. He's so drowsy. So basically, he threw everything up this, which is absolutely foul. So no more thank her for him. Oh my god, he's in absolute mood. Look at him. I want to give him a Um, So we need to give him like some really bland um, chicken breast and rice for dinner and just keep an eye on him and give him lots of cuddles. Look at his tongue sticking out. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh my god, really he's so mean. tired. 3pm now, so it's been a very eventful day, um, but I'm going to make myself hello, <laughs> some lunch now. Milo is just napping. We're going to yeah, make lunch, and yeah, because it's the afternoon, we're just going to chill and watch like a movie, Um, because he's quite like heavily sedated still, so we're just going to chill with him and just make sure he's okay. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm going to make for lunch. I'm going to make um just like a chicken burger, basically. It's going to be like a vegan one. I have been trying to incorporate um just a lot more plant-based meals into my diet for the past year or so now, so yeah, and I honestly like prefer the taste of this um, to eating meat and stuff anyway. So this is the chicken that I've been using. It's actually so yummy. You can chuck it in salads, chuck it on a pita, make like little chicken schnitzels with it even. It's so yummy. So I'm going to pop one of these in the oven. And actually, I wanted to show you guys these. I had these last night and they were so delicious. Definitely tasted better than normal sausages too because normal sausages can be like quite gross. So I actually had like pretty much that image like on the front there. I had like a roast and it was so freaking yummy. Um, um, yeah, I'll show you guys that one in another video maybe, but I'm going to make this now. It's very sleepy. Oh my god, he's so... 
chicken patty is ready. It's very crispy. It's a little bit overdone, but that's fine. So I'm just going to add on some of the shaker fry seasoning. I am obsessed with this stuff. Jake and I both are. It's so freaking good. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it out. I literally put it on everything at the moment. It's really good with like even eggs and stuff for breakfast. So yum. And then I'm just going to toast up one of these low carb hamburger kind of buns um, from Aldi. And then add on some tomato, some cheese, some pickles, lettuce. I've been loving getting this lettuce at the moment just because it reminds me of like Betty's Burgers. I don't know. Kind of like is a vibe. And then um, Jake actually discovered this combo. So it's the sriracha ketchup and then the ranch dressing. And it kind of tastes like, what does it taste like? Um, the Simon Says from Grilled. Yeah, so good. hamburger all done well not hamburger chicken burger sorry um you could also use like sandwich sins as well if you want a lower carb um and lower calorie option which is what i've been having lately i had it in my um last youtube video but i thought i'd spice it up and make something a little bit different but yeah those sandwich sins are actually so good and really tasty as well um we're just watching the cartoon version of the grinch apparently it's like really good so pending i'll keep you guys updated yum yes look how good that looks time for dinner you guys can't really see it but i was gonna have this really yummy tandoori chicken dish and show you guys how i make that but i realized i forgot tzatziki dip so and that kind of like completes it so i'm just gonna have the same thing that i had for dinner last night because it was actually so yummy and it's like raining outside i swear it always rains when i end up vlogging so random but i'm gonna make um these that i was speaking to you guys about earlier so the herb and garlic sausages i'm just gonna cook up two of those have them with a little bit of mashed um, potato and gravy with some greens that i'm gonna cook up i'm gonna caramelize this onion unfortunately i don't have any white onion um but white onion definitely tastes better with um just some of this gravy um some garlic to add to my veggies and i might even see if i've got some peas left over as well and then cook up some peas as well but i'm just gonna put these on first just for like 20 minutes in the oven and then um just because i'm not like starving just yet so i'm gonna put them in the oven and let them like cook through a little bit first and then i'll finish them off on the frying pan Please excuse my hair, it's actually going so frizzy. Um, but I'm just gonna cook the red onion now in some nutalex with some salt and pepper and then also a little bit of minced garlic. And then after that's caramelized, I'm going to cook up the uh, asparagus and the broccolini. And I'm also gonna add in some of that um, shaker fry seasoning that I showed you guys earlier today because it tastes so freaking good on veggies, you guys. It makes veggies go from like zero to 100. I'm not even kidding, you guys have to try it. assemble. freaking good so i got my herbed veggie sausages mashed potato various broccolini peas a lot of red onion i freaking love red onion and then gravy it looks absolutely delicious i am so excited to eat this um so i'm actually gonna sign off this video now you guys if i do have dessert it'll probably just be a faux pro ice cream but you guys have seen that a million times so i'm gonna leave it at that um i actually got a heap of work to do seeing as milo became priority today so i've got to catch up now that he's feeling better i'm actually going to show you guys him actually he's actually looking so much better Can come say hi come here hmm? hi little baby he always puts his head down as soon as he sees a camera 
Hey, you're looking so much better. Back to normal, my little pumpkin. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm really excited. I have some other exciting videos planned, so stay tuned for that. Also, just a little reminder that I'm having 50% off site-wide on Fit Body Co. That's all of my eBooks um, on this Friday, so make sure you guys get in quick. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited for the Black Friday sales. So yeah, and also don't forget about the sweats one as well. That's currently running. That one's just 40% off site wide as well. But stock is running a little bit low. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye.